Okay, here's the uh, machine I picked up off Marketplace. It was cheap, very cheap. Uh, can't get the back tires to hold air at all, so that's going to be a problem. And they're a special rim. I see it's three bolt. I think I have a set. I'm going to go dig through the tire pile in a bit. This is a neat machine. I mean, it doesn't look neat, but it all four wheels turn. I always kind of liked these. I haven't seen one in years. It's It's got a lot of play. I think that's normal. Just pop the hood open very gently. Yeah, yeah. Let's get that back on. Stay. All right, I haven't popped the hood on this. It didn't even pop the hood when I picked it up, just on the trailer and, and left. It turns. Oh, yep, I hear air moving and we got compression. Maybe not a lot, but we do have it. Dependable power, so it should work good. That says 03. I, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't think these were 03s, but maybe someone else would know. Uh, this machine, oh, let's check the oil. Oh, no oil and dipstick's full of rust. That's a, probably a good sign. We got rust on the dipstick, not oil. This should be great. Fuel. Not a drop. So nothing in the tank and no gas or oil in the engine or yeah there's no i would figure with an empty tank that this crankcase would be full of gas uh i see some electrical shenanigans going on here someone's been into the oh fifth look at that 1583 hours all right that's pretty good you don't see new stuff get to that so I'm, I'm going to guess that engine's not the original. Key switch is missing. Oh, where do I start? This is going to be hard to roll around. So I think first, I'm going to go look for some tires for this machine. Look at that. I'm a little excited. I just found two that hold air. I, I don't even believe that. I do kind of have these sorted by size, but I mean, some of these have been out here so long that the sun has just killed them. This is all the big garden tractor sizes. I mainly just keep them because of the rims. The rims can be kind of hard to come by. Very expensive also. Like, that's a 12 inch with a one inch shaft. Those are, those are pretty hard to find. All right, I'm gonna bring these into the shop and get them installed on that um, gem of a tractor. Thanks for coming back here with me.
I was pretty excited to find those tires on rims out back. I thought I sold them years ago, but there was a set. They're better than the others. They leak a little bit, but it's probably a two or three day leak. So I found most of the play in my steering. It's just between this loose and that. That's an easy fix. So got no battery. So I'll have to get the booster pack hooked up. I also have no key switch. Might be some electrical going on. Uh, a bag of stuff came with this, so let's go take a look through it. Here's the bag that came with this uh, mower. Uh, it looks like a part number for an ignition switch is the bag. So. Good. Got a receipt for something, but a name on it. I'm not going to go through that. We got the deck hardware. Headlight switch, an ignition switch, two ignition switches. That mm, I'll have to check and make sure that's the right one. Don't want to be hooking up the wrong ignition switch on a tractor. You might burn the ignition coil out. Just some random hardware. Keys. Okay, manuals. It looks like the en engine manual that came with it. I wonder if that was for the replacement engine. Oh, it's always good when the tractor's um, manuals opened up to the transmission page. Like, I wonder if they were looking for something inside the transmission. That's not a good sign at all. Okay. So I... I got to look up the ignition switch. Maybe it's in this book. Um, this is kind of really good. It came with the operator's manual because I don't actually know how to look up parts for these anymore. Briggs and Stratton owned the rights to Murray, but any of this old stuff, I, I can't find it. Or at least I don't know where to. So ignition switch, number 10. 302439. I'll have to see if number 10. Well, that's not right. It's this page. Ignition switch 305720. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good sign. I thought it was transmission, but transmission parts are on the page behind it. Oh, okay. it was only opened up to that was the ignition parts list, so Okay, that's a that's a good thing. All right, just did some parts investigation. I see he ordered this switch from Sears, and um, they sent him the wrong. That's the wrong part number. This part number, three hundred five seven twenty, doesn't sub to whatever the pin layout's actually different. So the reason this may not start, hopefully, is we'll we'll find out. That's not the right key switch. Very important to get the right key switch for your machine. Hoping he didn't fry the coil. But I have lots of coils, so we'll see. All right, I'm going to do a non-recommended repair here. I have this new key switch that came with the machine. I can't seem to get this one. It's on back order everywhere. I would have just ordered one. I also looked through my boxes of used key switches. It seems to be an oddball, so... I've got a picture pulled up of the original pin layout, ground lights, battery, magneto, start. So I've got the switch that come with it. It's also a five pin. It's got the same lay the same letters, but the pin out's different. And it they're both three position switches. I'm gonna check on that first, but I'm pretty sure they are. So I'm just going to, so ground, battery, magneto, start, lights. It's almost the same switch, just reverse. So what I'm probably going to do for the sake of getting this thing started with a, off a key is I'm just going to change the, the pin layout 
on the ignition harness that plugs into the back of the key switch for now. It's kind of a hack, kind of not recommended because the next person that gets the tractor, they'll, they'll cause them all kinds of problems. I'm going to order the, the switch and let it back order. So if I end up just selling this unit, it'll be back to the way it should be. It's not really a big deal. It's just five pins. So my next step is I'm going to change the just the pin out. It's pretty simple. I've done it many times before. It's good to know this stuff. So I've got my picture here of the original pin layout. And I've got the harness, which I... I can't pull much further through, but, and then I've got the colors. So we're going to call L is blue, M is black, S, this bottom one, is yellow, battery, which is B, is red. Red and my top corner, which is G, is white, and that'll get me. And then I'll remember which ones are which for when I have to switch it back. Okay, um, one important thing when you're doing this is this is this is the key switch here looking at me, say from the back. Okay, now if I wrote my colors down looking at this terminal that way I'd be backwards you have to actually make it like this terminal is plugged into that key switch kind of like you're looking at it like this so you have the right colors on the right side all right I just just want to stress again this is just for like entertainment purpose I just want to get this kind of try and start it off a key switch I highly don't recommend trying to do this if you don't really understand the electrical side because there's a chance you get these backwards and you could burn the tractor down, basically. And the sad thing is, like, he ordered the key switch from a, a reputable big company, which Sears, I think they're gone now anyway, but they sent the wrong key switch, so he could have fried his coil. I haven't really looked at if it did, but we'll find out. At your own risk, like I said, I'm going to switch this back to the original. I've ordered it. It's on back order. When it comes, I'm going to switch that back. All right, I finally got my Briggs and Stratton parts order I've been waiting for. I really need fuel line. No fuel line in that one. That's fuel filters, the whole thing. Broken oil filters. Not surprised. Hopefully it's in this one. And there's fuel line. Four or five boxes of it. I need that. Got my key switch installed here, wired up so it should work. Got my booster pack hooked up. Just gonna turn it on. I don't hear any sizzling. That's good. Okay, I got my parking brake set. Um, I haven't put any oil in yet, just in case this is going to be an electrical nightmare. There's a wire unhooked here. We're not really sure what that's for yet. Um, I'll put oil in once I hear it. I'm just going to give it a quick... Oh, perfect. All right, I'm going to throw some oil in that now. All right, so when we bought this, the guy was kind of frustrated. 
wouldn't start. He said, I think the motor's blown up. I tried changing the oil and I ordered parts and he just couldn't get it to do anything. And I mean, he did, they're like Sears 2014. He would have had his model number. He had the book with the part number and they still sent him the wrong key switch. Like frustration. I, I order parts for people all the time and like model serial and I would not, this would not happen. That's, that's too bad. It's really too bad. Put oil in. Almost forgot. Continue with that. Thing looks thirsty. I wonder how much it'll take. I'm going to guess on quite a bit. A liter. I think these hold a liter and a half. Don't want to overfill these older Briggs and Strattons. The uh, oiler is, it's like a fan wheel. Wipe the rust off of that dipstick. The rust on the dipstick, I'm gonna guess, maybe the carburetor was leaking and this thing was full of like an ethanol fuel that leaked into the crankcase and would rust that dipstick. I, that's my guess. I don't have high hopes for this engine lasting very long. We'll know when it starts if it knocks. Um, you can usually hear them if they're knocking. We're almost there. It's going to take, well, that was full and that was a liter and a, about a quarter and, and about a liter and a quarter of oil. They don't hold much more than that. I think he did say he drained it. He was trying to change the oil. He was, oh yeah, that, that drain plug has been mangled. So that's a good sign when you see a mangled drain plug that means someone actually was changing the oil when you see one come in and the drain plug looks mint you know it's probably never been changed or the original oil filter that has rust on it actually a guy told me once he's like my truck you wouldn't believe it the oil filter it rusted right off it just rusted and all the oil run out and i said to him you, you, you're supposed to change those things once in a while <laughs> funny story ha ha Anyway, we're good. We're just at the bottom of the crosshatch. That'll be fine for now. Okay, so I know it rolls over with the key. That's great. I'm going to probably take this hood off. I don't want to damage this nice hood. It's already broken on one side, so I need a half and a nine sixteenths. Oh, headlight wires are not hooked up, so... No, no extra springs holding that hood on. That must be just a John Deere thing. That was in a different video. All right, that off. Gonna put my hardware back in place so I don't misplace it. It's always a good habit. I'm just gonna tighten that on so it doesn't vibrate loose. Our check. tester here. I'll hook that up. And give her a crank. Oh, turn the booster pack on. I need glasses on in case something flies out at me. We're good. I see some spark. All right, my booster pack isn't getting a great connection. And that terminal's not great. Ground looks good. I'm probably going to replace that positive terminal. Won't take me long. And uh, ooh, resettable fuse. Like, I don't have one of them. I'm just going to keep that and put a 20 amp in there. Let's get this battery installed. I found a good battery. I changed that positive connector. So I'm just going to hook this battery up, see if it cranks any better. All right, the battery's in, hooked up. It turns kind of. <laughs> That's getting better. There, there are some hammer marks on the starter. I don't recommend hitting these with a hammer. I, I have hit solenoids on starters, but 
shouldn't hit these Briggs and Stratton um, non-solenoid shift starters, break the magnets. But it's working good. I'm going to throw some gas down it next. Just going to get this air filter off. Totally oil soaked. Uh, no, a little bit of debris in there. Okay, you can get some gas here out of my fancy little mustard bottle. Didn't pour out this time. Let's give her a try. Some glasses. We got nothing. Hmm. Oh, there we go. One more shot. Let me get rid of the spark tester. A little bit more fuel. Maybe it was too much fuel. Flooded it a bit. There it goes. I'm gonna throw some more gas down it. Just give it one more try. Sounds good. I don't hear any knocking yet. Okay, so it starts off the key. It'll start with fuel poured down it. Next step is probably the fuel system. Check my fuel lines aren't leaking. Probably pull that carburetor off. That might be tomorrow as I'm running out of time for today. And uh, hopefully it drives after that. All right, quick recap. I went and picked this up for 50 bucks, probably $20 in gas, not too far away. All right, so my only expense so far is my time, that used battery, one battery connector, which maybe I could have got away with just using the, the original. It was pretty crusty looking, though. Um, we'll continue this hopefully tomorrow. Thank, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.